What's up guys, so in this video we're gonna be going over the new version of the Shock Tools, which is the version 2. We pretty much redone everything on this, everything is gonna be way quicker, there's too many more features, and I'm gonna be talking about all of them right away. So to start with, let's just do the project page a bit later, just because there's too much on it, so I'm gonna be covering the trend and minch page first, and then we'll come back to the project page and go over that, how it works. So let's just start with the trend page. Um, in terms of data points, not a lot has changed, everything is gonna be real time, absolutely real time and accurate in this now, so you're gonna see that difference in speed now and also when you click on this widget we've changed the UI a bit so it's a lot cleaner to look at and generally follow up with and clicking on a project again shows you um, detailed amount of like um, view stats notable holders cell vault momentum and all of that good data that you have right there so uh, the discover page is gonna work the similar way um, it's just gonna be a lot quicker in terms of updates and the trend page is gonna work like that also so now we're gonna be going over the um, bidding page which uh, you might know how, how it works it's pretty much the same we've not changed a lot on this but this is going to have some um, additional performance um, like improvements that you will notice if you if you are already using the bidding so you can add bids normally and you can add the collections here and you can um, simply um, set up automation bid tasks on them so just set it set up set up a collection you can select the bid task and it's going to perform it for you so that's how it works you can go ahead and see the full video about it to figure out how exactly all of that works so on the trend page uh, i'm going to get back to this and go over to a project so we can start covering and talking about the um project page so a project page is going to be updated in terms of um speed accuracy and a lot of cool new features to start with we have right here we'll show you uh, what the project is trending at in terms of um, like total position in the last 24 hours in terms of volume, uh, the supply of the project, the holders, you see the holder percent change, floor and the floor change in 24 hours in volume. Uh, with a small graph right here which shows you the volume over um, the last 24 hours, you can just get the idea of what the trend is going with. Uh, below, below that you have access to the live view, we haven't launched some of the other views right now and when, when we do is you can really really like those, they're really really innovative and uh, we're going to be talking more about them later on. So then you have um, a, a widget that you can use to essentially um, look uh, look up a single token that you might own. You want to check out rank or something, you can just type it in here and look it up. Um, you also have access to the project summary if you want to look at the uh, notable holders right here, you have access to that. You can also set filters from this widget. Um, going down, we have the stat bar which shows you all the sim um, like a lot of similar stats, but some of the new things on here as well. So you can see the one hour sweep matrix now, which will show you how many sweeps have happened um, on this project in the last one hour. Now this is going to be the amount of tokens that have been swept and not uh, the amount of sweeps. So if, if someone sweeps like 25 tokens, it's going to show you 25. So that's how that's going to work. You have metadata fest and metadata variety. So pretty much this is... Um, like a, a, a lot of new data points in that sense and just a lot cleaner to look at. After that we have some of the uh, like more bigger things to talk about. So as we get to the listing widget, you will see that now we have like a mempool indicator which shows one of these tokens is at least being sold uh, right here and you can hover over it and see um, what token that is. So that's the first thing. After that we have um, like a filter that you can use to essentially sort out the um, listings. You can do it by date, you can do it by rank or you can do it by price. And you want to sort them out. Then you have access to the sweep widget but let's talk about that in a bit. Let's go over the stat bar first. So now you can set a custom time frame and it's going to show you how many listings have happened in that time, how many of those listings were actually listed down and if those listings happened in profit or loss. So instead of showing on every single token, now we show like a summary view of that so you can look at that directly with uh, also showing how many listings have happened in the last minute. So it's going to be listing per minute. It shows you right there. So uh, with that, you have the new listing widget which is going to be a lot cleaner. You can look at um, the photos uh, of the project um, a lot cleaner because we don't have token ID on those anymore so it's going to be moved right here and you have access to ranks it's going to be much cleaner to look at uh, including the price right here as well it's very clean to look at as well then the marketplace and in terms of marketplaces we have added blur pseudo swap and um, the rareable and a lot of other marketplaces uh, that we aggregate now including listings so including listings I mean we do blur and pseudo swap already so you can uh, we're the first aggregator to like get um, um, pseudo swap and blur on us so you're going to be able to find floor always on shocks you don't have to look around going through other products or all of that we are going to ensure that we aggregate as much of this data as we can and as accurately as we can
you can. So you're always going to have the floor on right here, including blur listings, pseudo swap, and anything new that comes up. So uh, not only that, you can directly buy these listings by simply clicking uh, the buy button, and it's going to be really quick to pop up MetaMask. Not only that, you're also going to be able to sweep these listings. Uh, MetaMask must have opened up. Let me just uh, quickly look it up and close it up. Oh, one sec. Okay, never mind. So, uh, so okay. So the next thing we're going to be looking at is going to be on the sweep widget. So uh, you can click on the sweep widget, and it's going to look like this. So all you have to do here is actually um, pretty much just interact how many tokens you want to sweep on here. So let's say I select two. It's automatically going to select the cheapest two listings, and you can select um, like options like skip pending. So you can just directly skip pendings. So it's not going to include tokens that have any pending transaction. And uh, it's not going to include anything that has suspicious or a pending pool in case of um, pseudo swap listings. So that's how that's going to work. You can set it to eight tokens, four tokens, whatever, um, like how many you want to sweep. You can also use the widget right at the top, the scroll bar to select how many tokens you want to sweep. And it's going to select the best listings based on that price. And you can um, use the private key option as well, but we're going to be talking about that later. Um, but this is how it's going to work. It's going to show you the total price at the bottom. You can click on buy to process those listings and it's going to pop up the buy widget for you. Um, so that's how sweep is going to work. It's pretty simple. You can buy directly from this. I'm just going to project this transaction because I don't actually want to sweep. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much how simple that's going to be. So closing that out and um, that's how sweep is going to work. It's super simple, super quick and probably one of the best sweeping experiences you will have because of the way we've designed it. And yeah, that's going to be sweet for you. And then we have the charts. So charting system has been redone. We have redesigned these charts from scratch. And not all of them, but we have redesigned the um, scatter chart from scratch just for the performance improvements that we could have gotten with this. So we had to do it. And it took a lot of time, um, a lot of things to figure out. Um, but it's finally done and we've kind of got the hang of it. So we're going to add more features to these really soon. And uh, we have like new engineers on board for... Um, just making shots as well. They're um, they basically specialize in this, so they're going to be able to help us like build better charting systems, starting with the new scatter shot that we have. So, um, so you can select different time frames on this. You can go like twelve hours, one day, however you want. I'm just going to disconnect, uh, unselect that. So I'm just going to select a non color. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a bit. So you can select any any time frame on this, and it's going to be able to show way more data um, than any other uh, app currently does. So that's how it's going to work. And also you can interact on the chart directly. You can also um, change uh, the axis from here. You can interact with it. You can zoom in and zoom out. Also, uh, we're going to be adding ability to draw on these really soon, but it's already in works, but we didn't want to like uh, do too much on the first version update. So it's going to be coming out really soon. Um, and yeah, that's how it's going to work. You can select different time frames as I already mentioned. You can also select different uh, ways to color these charts. So let's say you want to color it by rank and it's going to be, it's going to show you legends right here, like what color represents to what. Um, do you have PNL that you can use? Uh, it's going to show you what listings are sold for profit and loss, just so you get a better idea where the project is standing in terms of profit and loss sold. Um, and then you have marketplace, which is also going to show you uh, if the like the token was sold where. So we can see at the top we have all open see because it's blue, and then you have uh, below you have X to Y dos and blur. So blur is like generally at the bottom, and X to Y dos kind of there as well. So that's how that's going to work. And then you can also essentially, if you, if you don't want it to be always colored, you want it to be colored when you hover over it, you can select the C button that you have right here. And when you hover over it, it's going to color the chart basically and not have it always colored. So you can look at it like this if you're not hovering over it. Uh, you can also enable and disable outliers directly from here. And you can, um, yeah, pretty much you can disable. Uh, you can essentially, if you, if you do something and you want to reset the chart, you can just double click and it's going to reset the zoom for you. So that's how that's going to work. Um, after that, we have the um, like the this button to save the shots. You can uh, screenshot them. Uh, you can uh, view them on full screen. Um, like basically, if you, if you are if you want to do that, you can do full screen and uh, focus on the chart. And then you have the holder chart, uh, the cell wall chart at the bottom, bottom left. So this is going to be pretty much similar. We've cleaned it a bit to be better in terms of like how it works. Um, on this, you will also be, it'll only be colored when you hover over it. It's not going to be colored always. And you can uh, use the L to essentially turn on the ladder view, uh, ladder view and C to turn on color it on and off, just like we have right here at the top. So two things, that's how it's going to work. And then you have threshold on this chart. 
and you can set thresholds on the momentum chart it's going to show you uh, listing sales uh, listers and listed down uh, if you don't know how to use these charts i would highly recommend checking out the education tutorials um educator uh, um, sessions that 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 we do and uh you're going to be able to figure out essentially how to use them um so you can make better decisions and what all of this exactly means so yeah, that's how that's going to work. Um, on the right side, we have the trades widget, which is going to show you, uh, you can set three different uh, numbers on these three different time frames. So you can select uh, how many tokens were sold in, uh, let's say, five days, how many tokens were sold in 10 hours, or you can adjust it however you want. And it's not limited. Like even if you want to set it to a much higher time frame, it's going to show you all the data. So even if there's like 50,000 sales, it's going to show you right there. So there's no limit on it. You can set it to any 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 number and it's going to be absolutely accurate. So you have uh, on the on the right side, then you have listings per uh, sales per minute, which is going to show you how many sales per minute the token is uh, the uh, project is essentially getting so you have listing per minute here and you have sales per minute here and yeah it's it's a bit far and it may seem it's not the ideal positions to put it but it's just for the summary if you actually want to know uh, if there is more sales or listings, it's better to always refer to the momentum chart instead of looking at two numbers. That's not going to tell you anything. Um, I mean, this is not going to tell you anything. You're looking at real time supply and demand is not helpful. You have to look at it over time. And that's why we have the momentum, momentum chart. So uh, that's how it's going to work. Then you have pretty much this which is going to be similar. So I don't know if, if I want to talk about it. But yeah, that's how it's going to work. It's the new update. And a lot of things I've talked about is just related to UI and stuff. But a lot of her work has gone into how all of these things operate. So you're going to see that difference in terms of how smooth the experience of using these tools is going to be from now on. And yeah, that's it.